serious. Ask the, the real answer first. Yeah. Have you played any other sports than football? Yes. So I played two sports in high school. One was football, another one was track. Now, actually, I think I did better in track than I did in football in high school. Because in high school, I only scored four touchdowns my senior year. But in track, I made it all the way to the state championship for my junior year. What was the hardest game you've ever played in, or one of them? The hardest game I've ever played in uh, would have been um, in 2004 when I was with the Atlanta Falcons. I played against the Kansas City Chiefs. And the Kansas City Chiefs beat us uh, like 48 to 7. And I say it was the hardest game I ever played in because uh, I was faced with bigger guys blocking me the whole game. They ran the ball. Um, they only threw the ball, I think, like five times. And for an NFL game, that's a lot of running the ball. So I had to make a lot of tackles and I got dirty. And um, I got, uh, I was very sore after that game. So that was the toughest game of my career. What was your biggest comeback that you and your team had to pull through? Biggest comeback. Let me see. Here. Biggest comeback. Oh, biggest comeback. Oh, that's easy. I was with the San Francisco 49ers. It was 2003. We were playing the New York Giants. The last game of the season. Okay. The New York Giants had Kerry Collins at, at quarterback. Uh, Jeremy Shockey was the tight end. And I actually didn't play that game because I was hurt. And I think that, that it was similar to um, scores like 21 to nothing, all right? Going into the third quarter or something like that. He came all the way back and won the game. And that gave us a spot in the playoffs. That was actually a playoff game. That was the first round of the playoffs um, that year in 2003. San Francisco Giants, San Francisco 49ers against the New York Giants. 2003 playoff game. Look that up, Eric. Look up that comeback. When you get done, when you get done, it was cool. Was there a time? Say that was again. There, was there a time during a game where you were just like, really really like excited and you just like work full on like like ready um yeah you know that's a great camp great question kylie because for me um when i played the game of football usually i would you know i, I had a lot of nervous energy until i made that first tackle or i got an interception or you know, I touched the ball some way with a pass breakup. And once I did that, yeah, I was uh, I was ready to go. You know, kind of all the nerves left me, and I was uh, I was ready to go. Um, the last question I have for you was: Are you were you always faster than everybody? No, no. You know, I I think I stopped being faster than everybody once I got around twelve years old. Uh, but I wasn't. I wasn't going to be last, okay? I was always going to be first or second, okay? But uh, I wasn't always the fastest guy. But I think what would separate me, and this is not being proud or anything like that, boastful, um, is that what I what I pride I pride myself on working as hard as anybody, okay? And I tried to push myself harder than anybody else um, did. So that, you know, when it came to my time of competing, um, I'd be ready. Robert Staten, he won the state track meet three years in a row. The Texas state track meet, guys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we broke the record, I think, at Texas Southern University. Uh, relays, at you guys, relay. I have one last question. Okay. How did it feel to get your first interception? Oh, 
Eric, good question. Guess what? So I was uh, I was playing cornerback, nickelback uh, for the San Francisco 49ers. And we were playing against the St. Louis Rams. And I dropped back into coverage. Uh, I was in the wrong place, Eric. The wrong spot, guys. The ball was thrown, and I jumped up, and I caught it. And it felt great to catch the ball. But when I got to the sideline, my coach said, he said, you know you're in the wrong spot. And I played it off like I knew. I was like, yeah, but I just read the eyes of the quarterback. I went to the ball, coach. <laughs> so it felt great. It felt great, even though I was I was in the wrong spot. I've been in that same situation. I was on the wrong side of the field, and the quarterback just so happened to throw it. Hey, sometimes, sometimes you get lucky, right? Well, thank you so much for your time. And this is Kylie Curtis with Sideline Connect. Kylie, thank you. Thank you for your time. This is Kenzie Bates from Sideline Connect. Kenzie, thank you. This is Eric Hamilton from Sideline Connect signing off. Thank you for your time.